Big chunky bubbles. Yeah, hello. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. I... Is it? It is, I, it is. I'm fascinated by new people. And... Are you really? I, are you going to question every single statement I make? Do you think I am? <laughs> I do. I'm not. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, this is Murphy, Murphy O'Malleman. No, oh, hi. Uh. Murphy's a child of nine years old. Is... Yeah. I, I'm around kids a lot. Not my favorite. You don't like children? No, and they don't like me. But you're a children's entertainer. Yeah, it's the best I could do. Meaning you wanted to be a regular entertainer. Sure. But kids with their ill-formed brains were the only ones who enjoyed you, or? That almost seemed like a rude question. But it wasn't, you have to admit. Yeah, you have to admit. I think it's because my particular act maybe didn't capture the hearts and minds of adults. What is your act? You, uh, I mean, you're, you're... My name is Big Chunky Bubbles. But I mean, you're, you're, you're dressed like a magician. You have a, uh, a suit on and a top hat and That's a That's right. I create bubbles. You're a... You create bubbles. What yeah. does that mean? Yeah. What do you mean, what does that mean? <laughs> bubbles have to come from somewhere. Like... <laughs> So I create them. Not all bubbles before you ask that. <laughs> I, I'm not assuming you create them. I don't want oh. to hear like, oh, I was in a pool and I saw some bubbles. Did you make those? No, I didn't. If you, not. you saw bubbles in the pool? Sometimes you see bubbles in the pool. <laughs> it's not uncommon. <laughs> or in a stream. It's usually when a fellow swimmer farts in the pool is when you see How them. How rude. Of them, yes. Both you and that hypothetical person. So you make big, chunky bubbles? I make big, chunky bubbles. Listen. Listen. It's not funny. Anyone can make bubbles out of soap. It makes me sick. I make bubbles. <laughs> out of various soups and porridges. <laughs> That's why they call me Big Chuggy Bubble. Do the kids get to eat them? Get to. <laughs> they end up eating them. So l let me get your process right. <laughs> All right. You're Let's see how you do. You're hired for a children's party. Right. Because someone has seen my ad in the newspaper. Or they've gotten one of my leave-behind postcards at a previous event. Or once a month when I hire my skywriter, they've seen that in the sky. You hire a skywriter once a once month? Once a month! Did I stutter? What day do you do it? Do you do it on payday? <laughs> do you have any idea how it works in my line of work? The, the skywriting or the chunky bubble line of work? I'm not a skywriter. I make big chunky bubbles. I get it. She gets it. Why are you teaming up against me? I'm mad at you. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I don't get it. What are you? Well, there's not a payday. I don't go every Friday to the office, the chunky bubble office, and get my check. You misunderstand. I mean on people's paydays. So that they, well, they have disposable income. They look up in the sky. Why would I make that leap? <laughs> if I were sky riding... If hey, hold on a second. Am I right, folks? That's asking a lot. Boo! They're all booing. 
how do you know when everyone gets paid, sir? Yes, sir. <laughs> On the 15th and the last day of the month. Woo! Yes, thank you, one guy. I'm right. What about people who have direct deposit? <laughs> Where are my direct deposit people at? <laughs> I'm just saying. What yes. about free? <laughs> what about freelancers like detectives? Yeah. I'm Where are my like freelancers chunky, at? <laughs> or like chunky bubble artists? Are there any of those out here tonight? You're lying. I'm the only one. All right, I'm not going to defend this point anymore. Good, because you're losing. <laughs> All I'm saying <laughs> is that were I hiring a Skyrider, right. I would hire him on the 15th because I know a lot of people get paid then. They would hire me that day. Mm, they go, good. oh, I have a lot of money in my pocket. Right, good plan. <laughs> when do you do it? I hire skywriters around the times when children's birthdays are most likely to occur. When would that be? Like Days nine- of the week! <laughs> and is it me or is it him? <laughs> I would also hire a skywriter on November 14th. Yeah, because their parents fucked on Valentine's. <laughs> she gets it. <laughs> Great. Maybe a week before so they could plan it. <laughs> uh-huh. So you get hired by these parties. Yeah. You step out on stage. Yeah. I go into their backyard, their living room, wherever they decide to shuttle me off to. Shuttle you off? You're the main attraction. Why did they have a proper stage for no. an artist of my caliber? No one has a proper stage. This place barely has a proper stage. <laughs> Uh Uh-oh, someone's going to write a blog about you. You better be careful. (laughs) Got the giggles. (laughs) So you come out. You come out on, on, you know, in... in, I poorly introduced by one of the parents every single time. What do they... Do they mess up your name or they... They mess up everything. They don't know how to be in show business. Can you show us how they introduce you? Yeah! (laughs) They're like, everybody settle down, settle down, settle down. Jordan, put that down. Brinkley, no. (laughs) Brinkley? Yeah. Meyer, Briggs, stop that right now. And they make all the kids sit down. They're yelling at them to the point of crying. That's not helping me much. Then they say, all right, here's the entertainment, everybody. Very special. He's going to make bubbles. They don't even say my name, Big Junky Bubbles. And uh, they don't say that you're going to make it out of soup either. No! They should prepare the kids for that. (laughs) All right. So, so once you're introduced, then, what does your act consist of? You have l- big terrains of soup? I, terrains? <laughs> Do you mean terrines? That's or my you... accent coming through. Oh. Sorry. I didn't know you were one of the lads from Liverpool or whatever. I do have big terrines of soup. A couple crock pots of stew. So it's hot? Yeah, piping hot. <laughs> so, <laughs> How big are the bubbles that you're making? Well, they range in size. That's what makes it a show. Okay, I'm not suggesting that every bubble is the exact same size. I'm, give me a range. Don't be so exasperated with me. I'm interested in you. (laughs) Well, thank you for that. Not a lot of people are. I know. Are you in a... How do you know? (laughs) Because of the way you're fucking talking to me. Hey, watch your language. I'm a children's entertainer and there's a child here. What were you going to say? (laughs) 
How did all that soup just fall out of your mouth while you were talking? <laughs> I keep deposits of soup in my cheeks just in case I get booked for a last minute gig. Well, I was going to ask you, are you in a relationship, sir? Not anymore. Oh, oh no. It's very sad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sorry, you, I asked. Were, were you, you had a uh, wife or a girlfriend? I had a wife. Oh, well, I... first she was my girlfriend. <laughs> then she became my wife. I'm not, I'm not so a... I've had both. Well, what was she before she was your girlfriend? <laughs> the lady I met. <laughs> and before, and before that? that? Someone's child. And before that? Well, just a baby waiting to be born in heaven, I suppose. <laughs> So she went from being someone's child to them being a lady you met? Yeah. <laughs> In the space of how long? <laughs> well, how long it takes to, for a young lady to start out on her own and leave the nest. But so she was never just a lady who didn't know you? <laughs> she, well, <laughs> she only became a lady when you met her? Did you I mean, meet her on her 18th birthday? Hey! <laughs> You guys ask some weird questions and I answer them to the best of my ability. What is this, Meet the Press with Chuck Todd? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So what happened right. to her? She died. Oh, no. Oh. Do you know how? Yeah. It was a terrible bubble accident. <laughs> what What happened? One of my terrines was too hot, and I was showing her a new bubble trick where I was going to make a square bubble out of some Campbell's chunky soup. Well, she was too close because she was always very supportive, and she wanted to be right up center stage watching the action. And it scalded her face so bad it went right through to the brain. That was some hot soup. I'll always feel bad about it, like William Burroughs. I'm so, so sorry. Thank you, that sounds sincere. I'm really sorry. I'm I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, sir. Gee, I'm sorry. That sounds sincere. Thank you. <laughs> Why do you? Okay. Look. I call him like I see him. <laughs> do you have any, uh, did you have any kids with her or? Yeah, I got three kids. Three kids? Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three, Sesame Street. Your kids murdered my brother. No, I, do, I don't I think don't that. Think no. So. no, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> So you have three kids. That's, yeah. uh, that must be difficult to, to raise them without their mother. It's the worst. I can't stand them. You don't what like are they your like? Kids. No, they're very disrespectful. There's twins, and then there's the one extra one. <laughs> <laughs> Was the extra one born first or last? Or? Well, Oh, yeah. And it was sort of like, oh, one more of these. And what are, what are their names? The twins are named Bobby and Robbie. <laughs> Why? That's very confusing. Why? What do you mean? Well, Robert, Robbie is... Yeah, Robbie. They're both short for Robert. <laughs> what? <laughs> Since when? <laughs> That's not their their names are Robbie and Bobby. Neither one of them is named Robert. All right, all right, all right. Well, you're making me upset. What? You're asking some very tough questions. You're getting upset. I'm not making you upset. Fair enough, I guess. You've been to therapy. <laughs> What's your other kid's name? Tag. <laughs> He's the worst. <laughs> Eight years old. I can't stand him. And how old are your twins? They're 12. Yeah. And what's Tag's problem? And why would you call him Tag? 
Because he was like extra. Like a skin tag? Yeah. That's how I think of him. That's so sad for him. No, is it? He has a pretty good life. Why is that? Well, I provide for him. Does he have a race car bed? Yeah. What? Yeah, he does. Lucky? It's sponsored by Dale Unser. (laughs) Really? Yeah. Does it actually drive? No, it doesn't drive. What's unusual is a race car to be sponsored by a driver. That never happens. Usually the cars have corporate sponsorship. Not the sponsorship of a sole driver. I give this guy everything. Do you have a regular name or is that your stage name? I do have a regular name, of course. I wasn't born Big Chunky Bubbles. Ew. What? I just pictured you coming out inside of a Big Chunky Bubble. Well, I did. But that's not my name. That's not my name. That's not my name. All right, Ting Tings. <laughs> I do have a regular name. What's your regular name? People don't like it. <laughs> Hit me with it. Petey Amin. <laughs> Like Edie, you mean? No. (laughs) Now you put that association in people's minds. It's one word? No, it's not one. (laughs) Don't you know how names work, you dumb kid? No, I don't. Teach me, sir. Well, don't you have a first name and a last name? Yeah, so? So do I. I get it now. That was easier than I thought. You're smarter on the uptake than tag. (laughs) Well, I mean, you you must be a very successful children's entertainer. No, I'm not. Why not? I mean, you sound like you have a very unique act. I I do, but the parents all get upset because my act is so much messier than regular bubble performers. When it pops, it just scalds all yeah, of the Yeah, it's children. a bunch of soup. Yeah. It makes a mess, even if kids aren't scalded. I always make sure the kids are far enough away they won't get burned How by f- the piping hot soup bubbles. How far away do they have to be? Well, like a good 30, 40 feet. Can they even hear your show? No. I mean... They say they can't, but I'm good at projecting my voice. Are you? Yeah. Well, you doubt (laughs) it. Also, you were saying. I'll say to the kids, all right, here we go. You ever seen a bubble inside a bubble? And then they start like saying something like, shut up, shut up. (laughs) I wasn't finished. You ever seen a bubble inside a bubble made of soup? Does every one of your questions end with made of soup? A lot of them do. Some end with made of stew. So is your whole show just asking if anyone's ever seen a bubble made of soup and then you make a bubble with soup? I feel like that's very reductive. Well, I'm, I'm having a birthday soon, and I want to know what your show's all about. Well, I make the bubbles, of course, but I also have a lot of fun... Pa- Hey, why is everybody ducking under when they go back to their seat like there's a helicopter in here? (laughs) It's very distracting. (laughs) There's not a helicopter in here, is there? (laughs) It's like an episode of MASH. (laughs) Well, uh, uh, Murphy, you have a birthday coming up. You're having a a birthday party in the afternoon sometime on a Saturday afternoon, or when are you having it? Yeah, I'll probably have it on a Saturday afternoon after payday. (laughs) Looks like my skywriting worked. (laughs) Okay, let me walk you through the show. Okay. Here's what it is. I get the terrible introduction from the parents. Well, from her dad, probably. Well, yeah, he's in the TV, and he probably won't talk to you. Most people can't hear him except me and my brother. Did you say he's in the TV? Mm-hmm. It's a uh, whole thing. Have you, ever seen, oh have you ever seen the cartoon of the old prospector? I guess I have. <laughs> That's my daddy. You seem troubled. <laughs> 
It's just like Robbie, who's always like, I can feel another skeleton inside me. Other than his own? Well, they were supposed to be triplets. Oh. That's what the doctor told us, and then when they came out, they were just twins. We were like, I guess he was wrong. But every, every once in a while, Robbie says, oh, oh, the base of my neck, the base of my neck. It's like someone's trying to scream. And I'm like, can I read the paper in peace? New York Times. The Daily News. <laughs> you sing it. <laughs> Is that your favorite song? <laughs> I love that song. New York State of Mind by Billy Joel. Oh, so good. The Daily News. Some folks like to get away. <laughs> oh, you have a beautiful voice. <laughs> Thank you. I sing at the end of my show. You do? Yeah. What do you sing? I give these kids a good show. <laughs> what do you sing? What I songs? sing a song of my own composition. Would you sing a little bit for well, us I'd right love now? to. Sure. I'd love to do my act for free again. I close my show. Here's the thing. I'm walking through the show. I come out, terrible introduction from the parents. Okay, shut up, get out of here. I say to the kids, move back, move back. I turn off the sterno. <clears throat> And I get my wand, and I say, all right, all right. Who here's seen Bubbles before? And everybody's like, meh, me. And I'm like, yeah, that's good, that's good. It's a rhetorical question. They don't know what that means. Do you know what rhetorical means? You're not supposed to answer it. Oh, look at this. Go to the head of the class, child. Wait, was that a rhetorical question? No. Good. So you don't know what one is? <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> I was genuinely asking if she knew what a rhetorical question was, and then she answered yes. it, so it wasn't a rhetorical question. Exactly, I get it. That was a good lesson. <laughs> you guys are driving me crazy. <laughs> so then I take my wand, I dip it in a tureen. You use a bubble stick? Yeah, that's the wand. <laughs> okay. What, what's it shaped like on the end? <laughs> What a strange question. I know a wizard who'd want to know. <laughs> it's just round for mm, bubbles. That'd probably be better for him. <laughs> anyway, go on. Thanks. So I dip it in some soup. What, what flavor is the soup, by the way? We haven't talked about that. Most of it's beef stock. Uh. Every once in a while, it'll be an alphabet soup. Very rarely, it'll be a gazpacho. He should use gazpacho more. <laughs> the bubbles aren't as good. <laughs> so dip it in there. As they're waving it around, the bubbles start forming. I got smaller wands that I dip into a stew, and then I make smaller bubbles to go into the other bubbles. Now, sometimes I'll pull out a cigarette to blow smoke into the bubbles. That's when the parents go crazy. And I'm like, it's herbal, relax. And then I do all the bubbles. These stupid kids are like, so what? I want to play video games. And then I close with my song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. You forgot about my song. I was so into the show. Could you see it in your mind? Yeah, I love those stinky bubbles. <laughs> Makes the kids hungry, then they eat all their cake. 
Wait, you're trying to get them to eat cake? Like, that's a problem? <laughs> it's a birthday party! <laughs> yeah, but I've never known a party of kids who didn't want to eat their cake. The results speak for themselves! <laughs> okay, I don't know after that you're having show, any of that After my this. show, those kids eat that cake! Case closed! <laughs> so I close... <laughs> With my song. Your life is just beginning. Now you've seen my show. Oh, God. The road ahead of sinning will send you down below. Oh, boy. Oh. All of you are doomed. All of you are doomed. I hope you liked my show. Yeah. An important theological message there. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not particularly religious. It's more of a metaphorical thing. <laughs> really? Well, these kids are jerks. I don't like them. 